And now we turn to the Trump presidency. President Donald Trump begins this week with poll numbers showing just 36 percent of Americans approve of the job that he is doing. That's the lowest six month approval rating for a president in 70 years. And that's just the beginning to a week that's already seeing a setback with the new Republican health care plan. CBS 4's Don Champion has more. President Trump promised action in the week ahead on trade, the military, and security in a tweet on Sunday night. It's the latest attempt to change the conversation to policy issues as the cloud of the Russia investigation hangs over his administration. There's nothing illegal about that meeting. Yesterday, Jay Sekulow, the president's lawyer, defended Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting at Trump Tower last year that included top campaign staff and Russians linked to the Kremlin. Sekulow also hammered home that the president did not know about the meeting. I need to be clear on this. The president's engagement in this was that he was not aware and did not participate in any of this. Critics insist Donald Jr.'s story is raising more questions than answers. He first said no such meeting ever happened, so we can't accept anything Don Jr. says. The president will also have to wait a bit longer to repeal and replace Obamacare. Senate Republicans who had been hoping for action this week on the new health care bill say their timeline has been pushed back. They're waiting for Senator John McCain, who's recovering from surgery, to return. The longer the bill's out there, the more conservative Republicans are going to discover that it's not repeal. The Congressional Budget Office, which was scheduled to release its analysis on the new bill today, now says that analysis has been delayed. Don Champion, CBS News, New York.